hello friend this is Sopni and welcome to learn SAP app app so in this session we are going to learn about how to use the status icon in SAP app app model tool programming okay so what is the status icon the status icon is a use in a screen to indicate visually about the status of the program before the status icon can be used uh, it should be placed on the screen uh, it is a type of screen element okay so to use the status icon we have to write uh, some ABAP code and also to change the icon whenever required in the program okay so in this session we are going to create a screen with the, some fields and we are going to check the status of the mobile number fields okay if the mobile number is blank then we are going to display status icon as a red light and if the mobile number is less than 10 digits then we are going to display the status icon as a yellow light and if it is a 10 digit then we are going to display status as a green light okay? so stay tuned till the end and keep watching this video so let's start uh, with my editor okay so we'll design one screen once all screen 100 double click on this yes okay yes screen 100 so you can okay simply click on object okay so what we are going to do uh, we will display some data from the table on the so we will define in the work area here emp data type type z emp data okay this is a table from this table we are going to fetch the data and we will display on the screen okay see this is the table in this table we have employed first name last name country city phone number okay so for our case we are going to validate phone number using the status icon okay email and so go back okay so here what we will do we will create one selection selection screen begin of block b1 and then selection screen end of block b1 okay here we will pass the parameter okay. p a m p type Here's the char 10 okay click and activate and this call screen will put under the start of selection okay okay now we will simply design this and here we will write some code select like single select single star from cmp data into ls emp and data okay where where p here employee ID is equal to p amp okay this why our c is not initial yes if size of a senior simply clear this it's not initial okay clear this work area okay Check and activate. 
so now we will design this call screen double click on screen open click on the layout okay so I'll put one box we'll put one box here box here and this and text B and fly details okay now we will take some field from the work area we will take the some field from the program to get from the program so we need an employee ID, first name last name country city phone number email already okay okay we will just simply put here okay now design label Apply ID designing the label first name last name then country then we have a call field called city then we have a field called phone number phone phone number and then we have field call it email email then we have field call star id okay so align the field as per your choice okay so now what we are going to do is we have to just validate this phone number okay just simply click on this status icon button and drag and drop next to phone number okay okay and give the name for the status status icon okay status icon name as a status icon just click on the check and activate okay now we will add one more button over here in order to validate the phone number okay we give the name as a one validate phone number okay so phone number okay 
and give the function code as a validate save okay now close this window okay so now we have to write some logic in process after command okay uh, let's go to the main program i will create one include in order to store the form status status form and click on yes okay and now simply on command this on on command this user command and double click on the user command module click on the yes so it will redirect to, to the module module user command plus uh, so here you have to write case sy u com okay so now when when is nothing but the function code of the button is a validate okay okay so now in this validation we have to write some logic in this where in this validation function code if we will check for the phone number okay if the phone number is empty then simply we will display the icon as a red light and if the phone number is uh, phone number is uh, up to five character or less than five character then we will display the light as a yellow and if the phone number is up to 10 character to 10 character then we will display the light as a green okay so this logic we have to write over here for that uh, we just need to go to the main google declaration and define the status icon as a type icons text okay and here we will define one more variable called light and tap cat 30 okay now go to the declaration now go to the PA module and implement the code first activate okay validate so we check the name of the variable first so simply go back click on the layout and just double click on the phone number and copy this as the phone num phone number from here okay now go to the pai module and in the validation have the logic if data is initial and that means it is a blank then we will write icon is equal to icon icon red light okay then <laughs> and else if uh, again just copy this phone number if so we'll now we are going to compare length okay string length is less than equal to then or equal to phi a eh? then we will simply display icon as a icon yellow light okay and else if stretch the string length so the string length is equal to 10 then the icon as a icon green light okay thanks this is not the icon but this is nothing but the light
okay right like and activate okay and here we are going to call one fm in order to create the icon okay and give the name as the icon underscore create click on the ok okay so in the name we have to fight so light and in the result play uncommented okay so here we'll give the name of the in the importing we'll give the name of the status icon okay and comment this exception check and activate okay so now we will take the recap what we have we have done uh, we have just simply created the program so inside we have created a solution game in which we are going to pass the employee ID. so on the employee ID we are going to fetch the data so data okay and this data will think we're going to display on the screen layout okay and here we have designed the first uh PPM model user command model whenever user click on the validate so it will check for the phone number if the phone number is initial then it will show the red line and if it is the less than five or we can also say less than ten less than ten then it will display the yellow light and if it is green if it is uh, 10 character then it will display the green light okay and here we are calling the function model in order to create the icon just click and activate okay so now we will check our program okay go to the uh, 38 shoot we will and we will simply execute okay so as you can see here uh, we have some detail as the employee ID phone number but as you can see here phone number is a blank okay and simply we have to just validate if we click on the validate see now as you can see here red light because the phone number is blank so now let's add some number here 985 okay so now we have added the number up to five six seven four five six digit okay now it should display the yellow light okay as per our programming logic so i can click on the validate phone number okay so now as you can see here yellow light now we will display the we will enter the phone number up to 10 character okay so nine eight okay so now again just click on the validate phone number okay so now as you can see here phone number in the green light okay so this is the way you can use the status icon in model pool programming app okay that's it if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in the comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learningcpapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out